Today the new shed gets delivered. From this drone footage you can see where the old shed lived behind my house and how narrow the access path is to get the new sections placed. First step was to move the motorhome to the cul-de-sac around the corner. The trailer they use for the delivery has many slick features that are operated by remote control. The tractor unit's called a mule. It has three wheels, hydraulic steering, and a lift system. They lifted one end of the building and they put a couple of large dolly wheels under the main floor skids. Then moved the mule to the other end to lift it and pull this, the shed section to the backyard. The old shed they removed was 10 foot wide by 16 foot long, same width as the new sections, so these just barely fit as the other one did. The first section is the most critical. Each of the following sections will be attached to it, so placement is important as there's no moving it once it's in place. They took the time to measure the corners to the easement, which I added an additional 6 inches, so I should never have to move this. It was leveled side to side and front to back. The following section went as smoothly as the first. It was raised and leveled to match the position of the first section. The sections were missing some roof and floor panels. This allows access to the frame of these areas which are bolted together. This building has an amazing amount of steel and fasteners. Once it was all put together, there's no flex, no movement. Even driving a 900 pound golf cart inside felt like I was driving into the garage of our house. I later had a 100 amp service run to the building and I'm in the process of adding insulation and paneling to the walls and ceiling. For lighting I chose 6 inch recessed LED lighting. I also added an 18,000 BTU mini split air conditioner. This makes my workshop usable all year here in Central Florida. This building delivered was just under $30,000. I did get a $2,000 credit on the old shed they removed.